Greetings and welcome to the 43rd episode of Retro Rant. For this one, we will be taking a look at an AGA Amiga game, All New World of Lemmings, developed by DMA and released by Psygnosis in 1994, with a version for DOS as well. This is the third installment in the hugely successful Lemmings franchise and the last one for the Commodore Amiga. And that is quite a good thing, because after that, the poor critters were given the beloved 3D treatment. Anyway, All New World of Lemmings is a game that is universally dismissed by Amiga gamers now, having a rating of 6.7 at the Lemon Amiga website, and a lot of Amigans are not even aware of its existence at all. The game was also badmouthed by the developers themselves, as the guys in DMA Design have admitted that their hearts were not in the making of this one. Nevertheless, the game got quite good reviews upon release. I have included this game in my top 100 Amiga games of all time, so this is a good chance to explain why this is so and maybe a chance for you to get to know this great game. If you have been living under a rock for the past 30 years and you don't know what Lemmings is, it is a puzzle game in which you have to assign some abilities to some suicidal critters so as to help them reach the exit of each level. The original Lemmings was the best of the three with its minimal design, fantastic music and addictive, if ruthless, gameplay. The second game expanded on that immensely. The developers went wild with new worlds and dozens of abilities but losing the focus of the original game, and let's not mention the difficulty. All New World of Lemmings takes three tribes for the second game, namely the Classic, the Egyptian and the Shadow One. Each clan has 30 levels, so you get an overall of 90 levels of Lemmings awesomeness and you have to help them once more in their new journeys. Everything is given an overhaul, especially the gameplay, but we will talk about all of this in due time. The graphics of All New World of Lemmings are simply superb and show off the AGA chipset. The sprites are bigger now, yet they have not lost their charm, nor the splendid animation that was a staple of the previous Lemmings games. Of course, every one of the three clans has its own graphics. The game is full of fantastic touches, such as when using a blocker right on the edge of a platform. The sound is likewise superb and it never fails to put a smile on my face. Each clan has its own tunes and I absolutely love the rearrangements of the classic Lemmings themes. The sound effects are the ones you would expect from a Lemmings game with cuteness overload. And let's come to the actual gameplay of All New World of Lemmings. The main abilities are infinite and they consist of walking, in which you can also, at last, change your walking direction at will. You have blocking, but here you can also, again at last, exit the blocker state at will. Jumping is a new ability and it adds a bit of platforming to the gameplay as well. The rest of the abilities are finite and you must pick them up and you can also drop the boxes of the abilities so that another lemming can pick them up or so that you can pick up another ability. The pickable abilities are the builder which is super useful, since now you can build in any direction and change your direction at will. The digger is also very useful and you can also choose the digging direction. 
There are two climber abilities, one for clinging to overhead platforms and one for climbing vertical ledges, much in the manner of the original Lemmings climber. There is also the floater, which is what you would expect. The swimmer helps if you fall into water. The rest of the abilities are offensive and consist of the bomb, the grenade and the Hadouken. These can be used to dispose of the bodies that some levels have and the first two can also be used to dig holes. Unfortunately, the grenade ability has some of the worst grenade physics in the history of pixelated warfare, so be prepared for some very inaccurate aiming. Thankfully, some levels have the firing position marked, so that your life becomes somewhat easier. You no longer have a hundred lemmings on screen but about ten or so, so it is easier to choose the lemming you want, but by easier I don't mean that this is an easy endeavor. You see, as in the other lemmings games, the cute critters often overlap, so choosing the right one becomes tricky sometimes, especially in this game where only specific lemmings have the abilities. Thankfully, you have the option of highlighting one lemming, so that you know which one to choose. All New World of Lemmings has also a great replay feature, in which you can replay the level you just botched, and jump back in right before the boo-boo. And another lifesaver is the fast forward button retained from Lemmings 2. The puzzles are some of the best in the Lemming series without being ridiculous, unfair or dependent on luck, as was the case with Lemmings 1 and 2. Like Lemmings 2, you have to rescue as many Lemmings as you can in each level and the final amount is transferred to the next level. There are also some stray Lemmings in some levels which you had better rescue, since you cannot complete each tribe if you have not rescued at least 50 lemmings and you start with less than that. Of course, the levels are chock full of hazards, and in this game you have bodies as well which you can either avoid or destroy with a satisfying Hadouken. There is also something like a mole that does not harm you, but you must manipulate him so as to dig some nice tunnels for you. Of course, this is easier said than done, but with a lot of trial and error and replays, you can make it. Overall, All New World of Lemmings is a great puzzler, one of the best out there for the Amiga. The levels are fair, satisfying and fun, and there are lots of hours of exciting gameplay here. I cannot recommend this game highly enough, so track this one down and give it a crack of the whip, but take some time to learn the controls, keep an open mind and don't expect the typical Lemmings experience. You will be pleasantly surprised by this underappreciated gem. So that's it for now, and I'll see you next time!